Hi, my name is Jamie Woolham, and this is my creative critical reflection of my Ace Media Studies film product. So the first question is, how does your product use or challenge conventions, and how does it represent social groups or issues? So going into the early stages of production, we knew we wanted to create something of the horror thriller genre, and our final product, we definitely like utilized some of the conventions found in those genres. For example, horror movies, kind of a staple of horror movies is like the extreme close-up to capture the emotions of the actor. And we use some of those for our stalker character, Bobby, to emphasize his creepiness and like stalker behavior. And we also used one for our Liz character when she realized she's being stalked and like kind of has a scared expression on her face and we wanted to capture that. For social groups represented, we kind of went with two of the stereotypes in horror movies, kind of the stalker, creepy male character and the pretty girl next door type character. We wanted the characters to be kind of contrasting in appearance and we wanted Bobby to come off as like greasy and unkempt while Liz was pretty put together and well dressed. And I feel like we were successful in our uh, actor choices. We're lucky enough to be in the theater department at our school, so we have access to a lot of good actors, and that was very helpful in our production process, because we found actors that fit our characters perfectly. The next question is, how does your product engage with audiences, and how would it be distributed as a real media text? First of all, our product kind of banks on the shared fear of like being watched or being stared at, so we wanted that to be the central theme of our product. The name scopesthesia comes from the actual term that's also called the psychic staring effect, and it's the scientific name for, quote, commonly supposed phenomenon in which humans detect being stared at by extrasensory means. And we feel like audiences who are familiar with this feeling or have a fear of being watched or stalked might be intrigued by our product if it were to be a real media text distributed out. And if we were to distribute this as a product, we would advertise it by emphasizing the scopesthesia effect to get attention from people who might also share these senses or fears. The next question is, how did your production skills develop through this project? And I want to say that my production skills definitely have improved throughout this project because it's the first time I've ever done anything like this, but it's something I would like to pursue in my future, so it was very helpful for me. I'm very familiar with camera work because I enjoy doing photography projects for myself, but I've never actually filmed something with specific shots for like a movie or film. And additionally, this was my first time using Premiere Pro, which is the editing software used to edit our product. Before this project, I had no clue how to use Premiere Pro, but I will be coming out of it with a lot more experience and know-how on the interface, and I will be a lot more knowledgeable than when I went in. I think this is really great because film production has been something that I've wanted to pursue in college, and this has been a great experience to expose myself to how things work in the film production field. And the last question is, how did you integrate technologies, software, hardware, and online in this project? So we used Premiere Pro as our video editing software, and I edited some of the audio in FL Studio, which is my go-to audio editing platform since I'm already very familiar with it. We also used some websites to get royalty-free music for our underscoring, but one thing that specifically comes to mind about our use of technology is that after reviewing our footage for the coffee shop scene, we realized that we couldn't hear what the actors were saying because of all the background sound, and we realized only after filming, so there was no way to go back to reshoot what we missed. So as a solution, we decided to ADR the voices that we needed to edit in and it wasn't ideal, but it gave us the opportunity to still include the dialogue that we needed in the product. And that is all. Thank you for watching my creative critical reflection of my Ace Media Studies product.